Hello. Today, 5S Test Channel will show you 18 important test cases need for API functional testing. Functionality is the core of any application under test, and API is no exception. Their most basic and foundational functionality is data retrieval and data sending. And API functional testing should revolve around those two domains. Check out the following functional test cases and see how you can apply them to your own testing project. The first test case for API functional testing is status code validation for valid requests. Verify that the API consistently returns the expected response status code, such as 200 OK, for valid and properly formatted requests. The second test case is authentication handling with invalid credentials. Test the API's response when provided with invalid authentication credentials, ensuring it consistently returns a 401 unauthorized status code as expected. The third test case is we need to check the graceful handling of missing or invalid parameters. Verify that the API handles missing or invalid request parameters gracefully and returns clear and user-friendly error messages that aid in troubleshooting. Next, we need to test the input data validation with Malform data. Test the API's input validation by submitting various forms of Malform data, such as invalid email formats, and confirm that it properly rejects and responds to these inputs. Now we also need to check timeout handling under load. This to confirm that the API correctly handles timeouts by simulating requests that take longer to process, ensuring that it remains responsive and does not hang. Pagination functionality verification is also need to test by requesting specific pages of results and verifying that the responses contain the expected data and pagination information. Concurrency testing without data corruption to verify that the API handles concurrent requests from multiple users without data corruption or conflicts, ensuring data integrity. Response format. Adherence testing to ensure that the API consistently returns responses in the specified format like JSON or XML and adheres to the defined schema for data structure. Caching mechanism evaluation with repeated requests. This to evaluate the API's caching mechanism by making repeated requests and verifying that the cache headers are correctly set and honored. HTTP method support for get post lead operations to verify that the API supports a variety of HTTP methods for create, read, update, and delete operations and that it returns appropriate responses for each. The next one is error handling capabilities for meaningful messages. It's to evaluate the API's error handling capabilities by intentionally causing errors, such as invalid inputs or unexpected situations, and confirm that it consistently returns meaningful error messages for troubleshooting. Sorting and filtering validation for resource listings is the test cases to verify that the API correctly sorts and filters resource listings based on specified parameters, maintaining data accuracy. Handling long or complex data without data corruption to ensure that the API properly handles long or complex strings, such as URLs or text fields, without truncating or corrupting the data. Content negotiation support for multiple formats to test the API's support for content negotiation by specifying different accept headers as JSON, XML, and verifying that the response format matches the requested format. Resource not found. Handling to confirm that the API consistently returns the appropriate 404 not found response when attempting to access a non-existent resource. Response time measurement for various requests. This is to measure the API's response time for different types of requests to assess its performance and responsiveness. Then next one is handling large payloads to verify that the API can handle large payloads such as file uploads, without encountering errors or significant performance degradation. The last one is compatibility with client libraries and SDKs. This is to evaluate the API's compatibility with different client libraries or SDKs to ensure seamless integration with various platforms and programming languages. This is all 18 test cases for API functional testing. Hope it helps you much. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you see this video is useful. Thank you, and see you in the next video.